Hey everyone, it's Tira with Rent Mason Bees. I decided today to go out and check on all of my cocoons inside the PVC pipe. Um, so I dumped everything out onto a white paper towel and examined all my cocoons. And for the most part, every single one of them emerged. And then I had a couple that did not emerge. And sometimes what happens is the little bees get really tired and they're not able to chew out of the cocoon. And so you're able to help them out by just simply snipping the tip of the cocoon and releasing the little bee inside. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in another video. I'll link it below this video. But sometimes you will snip that cocoon and have a little surprise like I just got. These are mono wasp larvae. Mono wasp larvae are summer predators to our mason bees, which is why it is really important to remove your nesting blocks at the very end of spring when you stop seeing your mason bees fly. Store those nesting blocks back in your shipping box that we sent you, or if you're raising your own mason bees, just make sure you're taking everything out of your yard and storing it in a cool garage or shed. Um, these little um, mono wasp female, what they do is they get inside the cocoons or they get inside the nesting block and she has this long little egg layer that she pokes through the cocoon and then she deposits all her larvae inside the cocoon. Well, of course, inside is a mason bee and pollen and as you can see here, it consumes everything inside and kills mason bees. Uh, these little larvae will stay in this cocoon and they will chew through it in the summertime and emerge as a mono wasp and again repeat their life cycle. So hopefully when you're out snipping your cocoons, um, the tips off of them to rescue bees, you don't find too many mono wasps. But if you do, it's a good thing to help our mason bee population by disposing of these little critters. Because um, as you can see, it goes all the way back. There's probably about 10 or 15 mono wasp larvae that will then hatch and return, re repeat their process of finding mason bee cocoons to lay their babies. So I just thought I'd share this with you today. It's a bit fascinating. It's a bit gross. Um, but of course, Mother Nature um, is just pretty cool. So anyways, just thought I'd share this with you today. And again, check out the video links below on how to snip cocoons and open them up um, so that you can take care of your mason bees and help our mason bee populations. All right, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.